Hey everybody, welcome back to my reef tank. It's been about two weeks since the last video and yeah, I'm just giving another small update. Not too many changes, just some small ones and I picked up a new fish that you guys will see later in this video. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so to pick up from last video, we were just talking about some of the goods and bads of the reef tank. And to be honest, I think this time around, I think I have a lot more bad than good. Uh, as you guys can see, everything's looking a little messy on the sand bed and my rock. Basically, uh, I've been getting a lot of cyano and a ton of bubble algae has been picking up. So I guess my nutrients are out of whack and hopefully I will get that under control very soon. So the first change I made was moving the torch right there to the middle of the tank towards the bottom. And to be honest, it has been doing really good right there and I might move it later, I don't know yet. So basically the new fish was getting bullied by my clownfish just because it was kind of getting near its torch. And that new fish is this coral beauty right here. So I was picking up some cleanup crew at the local fish store. and. I was looking at angel fish and to be honest, I was really wanting a flame angel, but those guys are like 150 a piece, so they're kind of expensive. So for my first angel, I picked up this Coral Beauty. I heard they're generally reef safe and so far has been proving true. What I didn't know was that they actually eat algae too and I think that's what caused a stir up with my Tamini tank. I don't think I have any clips of him getting just straight up bullied because I was kind of just too worried about the whole thing. But yeah, he did get it a lot more than my yellow tang. So what I initially ended up doing was getting a mirror. And surprisingly, that mirror trick works wonders. I essentially went to Target, picked up this mirror for like, I don't know, like 15 bucks. And pretty much just put it like kind of landscape on the front of my glass. And man, that kept the whole tank busy for like the whole day. Even my Mandarin who was usually like shy and he's always hanging in the back even he was in the front kind of just looking at his evil twin but yeah that um kept my core beauty kind of gave him a little period where he was recovering from getting beat up and eventually after about three days i kind of put it up for a few hours a day he kind of just forgot about him so yeah and now he's pretty much one of the boys no aggression really anymore except for he's still fighting himself in the mirror kind of his reflection i don't know what he sees out there but he's off goofing around. If you guys recall from the last video, I was having some problems with my zoas here in the front. They were basically kind of pissed off and spreading kind of across the rock. That kind of just signaled to me that they were getting too much light. So I actually dialed my lights back and they bounced back. So AOIs are looking good and my um, other one. All right, new problem. You guys may be wondering why my MP40 is sitting on the sand. It essentially slid off the glass right there and I'm not sure why um, this is once again an mp40 my tank I think the side glass is about half inch thickness and yeah it's nothing like where the glass is too thick it should be perfect but if you guys have any ideas please let me know in the comments um, but other than that moved my frog spawn over here it's been looking a lot happier even though it's still kind of like small is in the process of splitting still I think so hopefully in the future this will be its forever home man if you guys haven't already noticed this is the emerald crabs freaking dream the amount of bubble algae that I have on this one rock it has just taken over the rock um, I do have one little small female emerald crab that is you know eating stuff but I don't think she can conquer this whole thing. If you guys have any other ideas on how to conquer it without emerald crabs, please let me know. I did have mixed experience and I just don't want to risk anything from uh, emerald crabs. And earlier in the week, I kind of took this huge hammer colony I had and kind of just cleaned it up. It had a lot of those vermindant snails and I think it was just kind of bothering the head. So I went ahead and pretty much got rid of all of them hopefully as time goes on it will recover quick update on SPS forest fire digi organ blue tort still the same I've been calling this one like a green blue organ tort I'm starting to think this is a Cali tort with a green body so I'm just gonna 
go by that right now. Miyagi Tor is looking fine, growing some more at the base. And the pink aggro here is getting pretty fluffy. I'm, it's enjoying the spot a lot and I'm really hoping that my other SPS will eventually see the same progress. You guys can see the new branches and some little nubs coming out of the base, so that's really good news. Tiny Hammer Garden. These guys could be doing better. I think the biggest struggle with Hammer for me is the flow. And I think that's just like a struggle when you keep a mixed reef. One flow can't really fit all. So eventually, I think once the tank grows in, everything will look a lot better. Good old Aptasia's back. I've been kind of just ignoring these guys and it's gotten to that point where, you know, I just have to deal with it now. So even though I have Rasses, I do know a guy locally who sells Nudibronch. And I'll be introducing a lot of those guys during the night time. He sells them for, I can probably get like three times the amount that those retailers give, but yeah, um, I'll give you guys an update when that time comes. So back to the torch problem, so I used to have it right here in the white spot, but my core, uh, core beauty, yeah, he was just getting bullied, and the mirror trick does not work on clowns, and man, when I tell you those clowns were attacking, they were shooting like missiles just at him, so he, he was kind of banned from this left side of the tank. So I moved it down here, and... Uh, I think they're cool now, but yeah, the clowns are kind of residing here right now. Update on the exosphere. This one still has two heads. I think, I believe that there are some babies growing in the back. There is one single baby growing right there from the GMK. Still hasn't sprouted, but that is good news. Update to the sump. I sold most of my chato away and it just hasn't been growing the same since and i think that might be why my nutrients are kind of out of whack but um yeah so it's looking kind of bad down here it used to be a really nice ball but the other new change i implemented was this mini um carbon reactor from brs i actually have the return pump or its return pump in this first chamber right here and it's sending its water back into the second chamber for Chato. Thinking about long run, I think I might turn the second chamber into like a mini coral holding, kind of like frag tank, mini frag tank that some people do. So maybe that change will happen. And finally, before I forget, Reefa Palooza is October 7th and 8th. It actually lands on my birthday. I went last year, it was a super fun time, had a blast, uh, saw some really cool stuff. If you guys are local make sure you guys pull through in the next video i will be probably covering some stuff from reefa palooza so instead of my usual like two week it might be three weeks depending on when i can get that out but yeah hope everybody's doing okay and i will catch you guys next time peace